In this video, we are going to learn about segments from secants and tangents, and specifically the relationship between those segments. So if we start out by drawing a circle, and in that circle, drawing a secant line, which intersects the circle twice, and also a tangent line, which intersects the circle once, we've created three different segments. One, two, and three. And we're gonna call those segments A, B, and C. And the relationship between those three segments is this. A squared will always equal B times B plus C. So that means if A was unknown, but we knew that B was two and C was eight, we could use this equation to solve for A. We would know that A squared equals two times this full segment B plus C, which would be 10. So A squared would equal 20, which means A would equal the square root of 20 or two root five. So you can use this relationship and this formula to solve for A, B, or C, as long as you know two of those values. It's important to know at least a little bit where this equation comes from. So we have the same picture here, except this time I'm gonna draw in two additional segments. And we're gonna look for similar triangles. The first triangle we're gonna focus on is this one that has a long side of A and another side of B and then that dotted line as its third side. And the second triangle is the full triangle in the picture that has one side that's A, one side that's C plus D, and then this other side over here that we just added in. Now with these two triangles, we wanna show that they have two pairs of congruent angles in order to show that they are similar. We already know that this angle is shared by both triangles. Therefore, that's one pair of angles that those triangles have that's congruent. Another pair of angles that's congruent is this angle right here with this angle over here. And that's because each of those angles intercept this arc or are half the measure of that arc. So this angle is an inscribed angle to the arc, so is half the measure of the arc. And this other angle is formed by a chord and a tangent line, so it's half the measure of its arc as well. So they have to be the same since they each have to be half the measure of the same arc. So that means the two triangles must be similar because, we have, because they have two pairs of congruent angles. That means that their sides must be proportional and there are some ratios that exist. If we focus on the blue triangle, we know that side B, which is the shorter side, over side A, the longer side, is the same ratio as in the pink triangle, side A, which is the shorter side, over the whole of side B plus C, which is the longer side. Now, if we cross multiply in order to rewrite that equation, we'll get back to exactly what we have up here highlighted in green. So when we cross multiply, we get a squared equals b times b plus c. So that's exactly the formula we were looking at before. So again, it's important to have at least a little bit of an understanding for where this formula comes from and also to be able to use it.